30 year old Zahra Muhammad is a mother of two. She was forced to flee from her home in Khartoum to Port Sudan in a desperate bid to find shelter and food for her two children. I came here to feed my children after we experienced hunger. I am pregnant and I need special diet. All we get now is one meal and tea in the morning. The situation is really bad. There were once hopes that Sudan would become East Africa's breadbasket, but the country is now unable to feed its own population. The World Food Programme says the hunger crisis is deepening as the conflict continues, with reports of some people even starving to death. With the fighting now, in its 10th month, nearly 18 million people are facing acute hunger. About 5 million people are experiencing emergency levels of food insecurity, with over three quarters of them cornered in areas where humanitarian access has been hampered and in some areas impossible due to ongoing fighting in large parts of the country. A new food security report for Sudan shows the highest levels of hunger ever recorded during the harvest season that runs from October to February. The deteriorating economy and high inflation have also made life more difficult for traders. The prices are changing every day and we can't provide enough food despite the need. The prices are skyrocketing and importing is difficult due to the high value of foreign currencies and an unstable market. The World Food Programme is warning the situation could get much worse and time is running out ahead of the next lean season in May. Its feared conflict hotspots could face catastrophic levels of hunger unless they get more food assistance. Naba Mohiddin, CGTN, Port Sudan.